what are some findings that you feel like have come out of uh, that opportunity to look at such a large number of data sets that Interaxon really has actually discovered for the first time in human history? I would imagine Peak Alpha uh, has some nuances there that has never been seen before. Totally. So the very first yeah. paper that was published on that was, I think, back in 2015, 2016. The work was done with us in McMaster University. And that was our very first look at Peak Alpha. And there we looked at 5,000 data sets, which at that point was a lot. Yeah. At this point is nothing. We looked at 5,000 data sets from probably, you know, 18 to 90. And we saw the change in trend decade by decade. It was the first that it was ever reported upon. Um, and then we put out a paper in 2024 that is called Do Try This at Home. And it's looking at the metric I referred to earlier, which is chronological age and identifying what aspects are most closely correlated. And the number one correlation really was the sleep spindles within sleep. And that had never been reported on before either. 